G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So this is day two of the EV Community Day. So um, for this one, I actually was only playing for two hours and 20 minutes. Um, for the last 40 minutes, I was in the car, so I had the Go Plus running, clicking on absolutely everything that, uh, that buzzed. Um, so my scene and court ratios is down a little bit, but um, it's better than nothing. So I'll quickly run through day two stats and then have a look at the combined. So distance walked, 9.5 kilometers. Um, poker stops spun, I didn't actually record it. Um, field research completed, uh, 54 research tasks were completed, so that's pretty good. Um, experience gained just over 80,000. Um, so now a couple more of the interesting stats. So Stardust gained 175,000, so just over that. Um, works out to be 1250 Stardust per minute, um, which is actually up on uh, my yesterday's figures. So I was earning uh, Stardust a little bit faster than day one, which is nice to know. Um, Eevee's seen. 314, Eevee's caught 281. So um, the difference there is uh, quite a bit larger than yesterday, but that's uh, down to sitting in the car for 40 minutes, pressing the Go Plus, um, and hoping for the best. Now, I did actually manage to catch some shinies, as you can see, uh, and for the day I caught um, 12. So actually it was up on my total from yesterday. Um, so that's my stats for day two, and now combined. So combined over the two days, I walked 19.3 kilometers, um, spun 157 stops on day one, um, and in total completed 183 field, field research tasks. So that's pretty good, and like I said, if you want to get the gold badge for research, hit up a community day because they're very easy to earn a whole lot of uh, tasks. You just need to plan your route um, and go your own way. So um, experience gained over the two days, 167,000. Stardust gained 380,000. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, 380,000 over six hours is, uh, is pretty good. Um, now the one that's probably obviously more interesting for everybody, um, EV seen and caught. So I saw 618 and caught 582. So 582 EV caught. So at bare minimum, without transferring any and no uh, using no pineapps, that's 1500 um, EV candy. So more than enough to uh, to evolve a couple and see if I can get one of each for the shinies. And over the two days. I ended up with 20 um, shinies, so I was absolutely stoked with that. 20 shinies, absolutely awesome. Um, means hopefully, if uh, I get a couple of doubles, if there's anyone out there missing them, I can uh, trade them to my uh, to, with my local group, um, so everyone gets a full set. It'll also mean I can save up a couple for the uh, next ones when they get released. Um, but I was really stoked with that. So 20 shinies. Um, so I worked out um, my shiny percentage and it was 3.2 percent of the EVs I caught um, and saw were shiny um, so that number is going to be a little bit different because I'm sure some of the ones I didn't actually look at um, and were clicking on with the Go Plus probably were shiny and ran away um, so my ratio my percentage might be a little bit higher than that but it's not too bad so absolutely stoked with that, had an absolutely brilliant time. Um, hopefully everybody else uh, had some luck and managed to catch at least a couple. Hopefully everyone gets uh, enough for one each. Um, if not, like I said yesterday, you've got some trading to do. Um, hopefully there's a few people out there with uh, surplus to, uh, to, the, to what they need. Um, and you can uh, fill out your uh, complete set of uh, shiny evolutions. Um, thanks again uh, for watching. Hope you had a uh, had a good one. Talk to you later. Bye for now. See ya.